Iron is the lowest rank of the Valorant rank system. If you find yourself here, you are either a beginner or someone who doesn't really care about getting better at the game. But because you are watching this video, I am sure you wanna improve. So let's take a look at how. Looking at Iron gameplay, I find many things that can be changed in 2 minutes and make you already a thousand times better. Your sensitivity is the first one. It might sound a bit boring, but actually finding a sense that is not too high or not too low is extremely important because that is what you will get used to. Imagine this perfect sense as the foundation of your house and the house is your Valorant improvement. So if the foundation of that house is not perfect, every time you wanna build on it, it will get destroyed. If your sense isn't great, everything else will be way harder to learn as well. If you don't know how to find this golden sensitivity, one general tip is that if you have a bigger mouse pad, you can go for lower sense, but if you have less space, higher sense is the way to go. If you still aren't sure, try 280 eDPI. This sense is generally comfortable for many players, but obviously you can change it anytime to make it more suited for you. The next thing I wanna talk about is control. What I mean by that is that it's crucial to have a good grip on the mouse and learn to control it. For this you can always do row aim training. But what does that mean? Row aim is your ability to click on pixels without considering any mechanics from the game. Aim lab is a free option to use and it will help you to get better row aim. Exercises like good shot or headshot are perfect examples. But to help you out, here is a practice routine you can do. In case you don't like aim lab, doing something similar in game in the practice range is also completely fine. Here is a practice routine for that also. After all of this, we can finally get into the game. At first, it will be overwhelming. So many different characters, so many different maps, and so many different guns to choose from. We wanna get to know all of them. You don't have to be an expert whatsoever, but knowing what each agent can do will help you a ton since you will understand what they are capable of. By understanding every agent, you will be able to choose a handful that you enjoy playing. Some will fit you more than the others, but to find the agent that was made for you, you need to try all of them. Knowing which map is which is going to be a key factor in your Valorant career. You will know the map specific features like the turning doors on Lotus or the vents on Split. Learning the maps will help you to create better and better ways to play on them and that will vary depending on the agent you are playing. As a result, adjusting to the unique things each can offer won't be difficult for you. The next step is understanding the guns. There are quite a few, so you will have to take your time to get through. Finding out which gun is great for longer range and which gun is a beast at close range will help you to win more of your fights. As you get to know all of them, you will develop your own preference. This can also change based on the map or agent you are playing and here we can remember the example of foundation. Understanding maps and agents helps us to decide since not every agent is made to use operator or shotguns. They can, but it doesn't mean that their abilities are suited for that. As an example, an agent who has smokes can play shotguns easier than someone like a Sova or a Sage. Why? Because they can hide in their smoke, while Sova doesn't have that luxury. He's good at something different with different guns. Many games will feel chaotic and you might don't even know what you should be doing. But I have a tip that will help to fix that. If you feel lost, just try to always go with the best player on the team. Just try to support and follow the person who gets the most kills, making sure he is alive and he can do what he is the best at. This will ensure that even if you die, he will revenge you and get one in return. This is called trading. It's not the most important thing at this stage of your journey. So you just focus on going with the best player as much as you can. If you feel you have learned something, don't forget to drop a like. The next crucial thing in Valorant is having headphones. Hearing is just as important as seeing enemies on your screen. You cannot listen to music and expect results in your matches. Sounds like footsteps or abilities can give away where the enemy will be, giving you a golden opportunity to take advantage of it. And you shouldn't wait until these game-changing moments go by. You have to use them for your own benefit. If you are interested in something, the secret to learn more about it is by actually being part of it, not just in-game, but watching YouTube videos with tips in them that maybe I didn't cover. Checking out streamers and how they adapt to each situation. 
and looking at creators who in some way can teach you new things. And believe me, there is always something to learn. Just on YouTube, there are many skilled people covering these topics. And more point of views you hear, more chances you get to take you to the next level. Great creators like Wuhujin, Skillcapped or Jaws are just a few of many who are great to watch with your goal in mind. To learn more in-depth concepts about the game, you should check out this video.